This disease was rare around the world, but is now endemic to California. What is it? These are little parasites known as Trypanosoma cruzi. They cause Chagas disease. They're protozoans, meaning that they're single-celled, they're smaller than human cells, and this is the start of their problem. T. cruzi spends part of its life in the gut of kissing bugs. It grows and multiplies here. When the kissing bug bites a human, it takes a blood meal. You think you do, but you don't always notice when you're getting bit. And meal means that it's eating. And when it's eating, it'll also defecate right on the wound. And because the T. cruzi is in the bug's gut, it transfers from the feces into the bloodstream. Now it's in the human body. But this isn't the only way. Sometimes someone who got the bug's waste on their hands scratches their eye, or they eat food that had kissing bug feces on it, or they get a blood transfusion from someone who's infected, or an organ transplant from an infected person, or share needles with an infected person, or mom has it and passes it down to baby. The initial infection is the immune system reaction, so you get swelling and redness. It might feel like the flu, and it kind of sucks, but it goes away. But sometimes there's no symptoms at all. After that initial infection, the parasite disappears from the blood. They're only in cells now, so blood tests may not detect it. They'll multiply slowly. Years and decades pass. There's no symptoms, and everything seems fine until nothing is fine. T. cruzi replicates inside and destroys the heart, ending in heart failure. The heart rhythm will be thrown off, and blood clots will form. Some patients can control this with medicines, but others will need a heart transplant. T. cruzi can also replicate inside the GI tract and block flow. The scariest part is that for many, many years, people have no symptoms and don't even know that they have chocolate disease. The good news is that we have medicines for this. It even works if you can't detect the parasite in your blood. But the bad news is we can't detect the parasite in many people's blood. But we know that a lot of people have it, and the kissing bugs have slowly made their way north. So how do you prevent this? In the endemic areas, Central and South America and Southern United States, stay in well-built hotels and houses to limit contact with kissing bugs. Sleep under bed nets where this is a problem. Wear clothing that covers all of your skin to not get bug bites. And avoid eating salads, raw vegetables, unpeeled fruits, and unpasteurized fruit juices while in those places. The late life version of yourself will thank you.